Hi everyone, it's Glad at Vibrant Soap. And today I'm making another masculine type soap. It's using the fragrance Dr. Feel Good by Nature's Garden. It smells like a masculine cologne. And this time I'm gonna color the base a jet black with accents of metallic gold and metallic copper. And then I thought I'd accent the whole thing together with a royal blue to just to round things out. And I hope it'll turn out really nice. So stay tuned and we'll get started right now. Okay, everything's at about 75 degrees. That's cool enough for me. These are all my oils, argan oil, hemp oil, olive, coconut, shea, cocoa, and castor. So I'm gonna blend that up with the kaolin clay as usual just to make sure everything's creamy before I can add the lye solution. I'm going to add the lye and then I'm going to remember to pour my accent colors before I add the fragrance because it does turn the soap a little bit beige and I want those colors to be bright. The uh, activated charcoal part, I don't mind if it discolors because it's still going to be black. I'm soaping with uh, the fragrance Dr. Feelgood from Nature's Garden. Nice masculine cologne-like scent. I can tell that it darkens the soap batter almost immediately. Just going to emulsification there. Get the soap into my accent colors. This is the cornflower celebration mica. Beautiful color. You see my cups are a little bit larger for this because I don't want the lines to be quite as fine as they have been in my last couple soaps. This is the 24 karat gold mica, copper sparks mica from Nurture Soap. I love this color. It's a rich color. So, so this plus the gold will make a nice color. Okay, and part of my base is going to be this deeper dark blue. black with the activated charcoal. And that's where I want the fragrance. So let's blend that first. And then my other base is going to be this blue. So blend that up. The other colors I'm going to combine with a whisk. So let's stir this first. I heard some bubbles. So I've been busy making some melt and pour soaps for Halloween. I made a voodoo mold. I made a little voodoo sculpture first and then I cast that in silicone so I made my own silicone mold and then I did um, some pretty elaborate things I casted some eyes separately in the same way that I made the main figure and then added eyes and I did that so that there's more variation in them so they all look different and I painted them and I put them in some voodoo clothes so if you go to my Instagram, you'll see that, and I will eventually edit my video on the making of that. So stay tuned. And subscribe too if you don't want to miss that. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so that looks like it's nice and stirred and still nice and liquidy. And stir out my glue too. Okay, so what do I want to do with this? I 
think I'm going to pour this around the perimeter. All the way to the middle. And keep some for the top. I'm gonna add my gold first. The reason why I uh, mixed the two blues is so that it was a little bit lighter so that it would not blend in with the black too much. And let's put that around the edge too. Save some for the top. I'm not being as neat with this one. This is the copper sparks mica. It's a metallic as well. You can see the sparkle in it. This is a copper color. And that's just gonna go there too. And lastly, I've got my cornflower blue, which is a lighter blue. Without really being um, a bright sky blue, it's more of a nice blue-gray. Put that from about two feet up. I want that to go deep in there. Save a little for the top. And then let's pour this. There's different rates of the soap setting up, which I'm used to. The um, number one, the accent colors were have a little more oil in them, and then activated charcoal is very thirsty, so it thickens the batter a bit too, but. I kind of like the quality that gives. Okay, let me pound this down. That copper sparks mica looks great on the black. small spatula just because the big one won't fit in here. What I'm hoping for, and I won't know until I do the cutting, is that there'll be some nice veins of gold in there like you would find in the strata of material in its mind. And I'm going to leave it just like that. You can see if I can scrape a little bit more black into one part of this. Right here there's no black and I think I like that. So here's my Gold Rush soap. Let's clean off the edges a little bit. And there's a closer look at the top. And I'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, so I'm gonna cut what I'm calling Gold Rush. And I really am inspired by the striated um, bits of gold and rock. There's charcoal in there and the blue. Really wanted to make this look like it's um, excavated. 
and want the colors to really reflect the fragrance being um, a masculine fra fragrance and used um, a concentrated amount in the little bit of gold and copper accent in there because I wanted it to retain that shimmer. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's very different from the other concentric pores that I've done so far. You never know what to expect. I was not expecting this. It looks like composite material. It still has the benefit of charcoal being the primary colorant for the black. Wow, I like that. I think it was a good decision to mix two blues together to get something a little brighter so that it would show up and contrast against the black. I like the gold pockets too. I'm really happy with this. And I'm cutting this two days after I made it. I just thought when I poured it that it was a bit soft. So I wanted to make sure that it unmolded nicely. This really looks like uh, satellite images of land masses and ocean. And these are big bars. I think most of my bars are bigger these days. And dogs barking back there. It's like an imaginary world because I don't recognize these land masses. Ooh, really close. Hmm, it smells good too. It's a fragrance called Dr. Feel Good from Nature's Garden. And the other thing I did was I scented, um, oh, that's cool. It's all the lines between the land masses are that gold. Well, also reminiscent of Lapis Lazuli with the gold. Another advantage of pouring this basically in the center of the lobe is that it really does make all the bars different this is a little bit of that copper or reddish gold color so thanks for watching hanging out with me cut this have more videos coming up of uh, my voodoo soaps coming up and I still have more calendars that I made with photography of my soaps. And uh, it starts in uh, the first pages, uh, May of 2019, so um, it's still useful. And one more cut here. Thanks for watching and uh, helping my subscribership to grow. Really appreciate that. And I always appreciate the comments. So let's leave off with this one and say um, goodbye for now. And see you again soon. Bye, everybody.